<laughs> Hi, everybody. Hey, everyone. We're uh, it's beer and return of beer and gear from Music Villa. Bigger and better. That's right. That's Joe. Louder. That's Blaze. Hey. And uh, so uh, yeah, welcome back. It's been a while. Um, it was a whole new year, 2020. Yep. And uh, we asked them. Uh, you know, we asked you guys what you wanted. Uh, you know, new format, any new ideas that we can do, what to do. So uh, thanks for inter- chiming in. Yeah, yeah. So in response to that, we're uh, we're we're going to be off air. We're going <laughs> to we're gonna hang it up. <laughs> yeah, we're hanging it up. <laughs> no more. This is our last show. Mm-hmm. We're switching. Uh, we're switching to whiskey. Yeah, yeah. We're so uh, we're actually moving to PBS. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we're going to be doing a little program there. Uh, you're going to be doing a, a whiskey retiling your bathroom. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's going to yeah. be a, a home a instructional home thing. show. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And I'm just going to how to avoid taxes. That'll be my. <laughs> thing so um anyway uh because i'm just too lazy for that it's not nothing to do with the government or paying taxes i'm just don't want to deal with it yes. okay Who so does? anyway but yeah so what we're gonna do is we're gonna chat we're gonna uh we're gonna be a little more product focused i think and try to let our uh, uh fun ensue but we are still gonna do one important thing and that's drink beer, drink beer. Yeah. So, so let's get right to that. Today we uh, we got a, we have a few just we just got a few cans from Shine. Our neighbors, uh, our neighbors there. Wonderful. The wonderful neighbors. Here you go, Dustin. This is a uh, wonderful uh, Draftworks cream ale. Yeah, that's what she. They said. got a lot of different. Bre- Whoa, that's it's co- the cream antidotes Ooh, on the can. One. Yeah, there's that. We got Oscar Blues. Cano Bliss. Where are they from? They're uh, are they uh, Colorado? I think they're Colorado, bro. They got lots of like weed weed themes. I got a lovely. Uh, Zero Day Double IPA from Flathead Brewing in Big Fork, Montana. My band used to play Big go. Fork a lot. Big Fork. It was awesome. I, lo- I love Big it's Fork. It's really good. You, it's, it's right on the lake, town. Flathead Lake. Yep. You go there during the day you after you set up. State Park, take a little kayak out. Yeah. Go we, go, we took a boat out once and did some it's water awesome. skiing. I love that area. And uh, it was a party. Yeah, we did I weddings up, up in, there. Uh, I played up uh, north of there in Corum in East or West Glacier. Stonefly. It was very fun. Ah, plugging it. Uh, so anyway, the, these are lovely. If you're ever in Montana and you're looking for beer, these are the places to be. Is that Flathead Brewing? The one right Yeah, there? Flathead Brewing. Yeah. Big Fork. Cool. Yeah, it's right on the lake. Oh my God, this is 8.2% alcohol. Okay, this well. This is high too. This, I guess, uh, this is 7.2. i am going to have a fun work day today Cheers. on the floor. Welcome back, Joe. Welcome back, Blaze. So today yeah. we're going to talk about... Um, Fender, uh, you know, these have been out a little bit. Probably, there's probably a million videos already, but not as classy as these. As ours. As ours. But I think instead of going through, you, you guys can see all the, the wood spec stuff. It's really easy to view on Fender's website. What we would like to do is play, just strum a couple chords, go through the settings on this thing, because every, that's what everybody seems to want to know is yeah. you got a five-way switch, you have acoustic modeling. What right. are the tones of the guitar? What is, what is stuff and, doing? And, so, and then also, what's the difference between the, 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 the telly, telly the that strip. they originally came out with? And, they, and there is some different modeling sets, though the yeah. woods and the everything else is pretty everything much the same. Everything else is the same, but they come loaded with different I got my models. cheat sheet. Yep. Because, you so, know, it's going to be like, uh, this one's the sickest and Bruce I, Rosewood concert short scale slotted headstock. <sighs> You might not know what that sounds like. And I did so this. We're going to hear I that. I thought this might be a person. A person who's going to use this guitar in the in the field might go with this, this type of a setup. This might work. Um, this is a, Some the, sort of A and B The radial A B box, which I really like this box. Um, and then we did, we uh, I ran. I just I just simply ran into this and then into an acoustic amp into an electric amp. I put a looper on the acoustic side. I put an overdrive pedal on the electric side. Um, yep. So you can have we'll fun get- with that. We'll get more to that when we do our, hey, why would I want this thing? Yeah. But we're just going to go um, some But clean. right now, let's just listen to the... Yep, and we'll be uh, just the only are. coming out of the Fishman for the acoustic tones. It's just coming out of the Fishman loud box. Um, when we do our electric sound, we'll switch to the Princeton. Yeah. And uh, you'll do the same lick, same boring-ass lick. Yep. That he's, he'll probably try to sell you the tab for $20. So what do you got here? Are you on setting position five? This strap, five, of course. Uh, this is position 5A. <laughs> okay, and also, you know, the knobs are kind of more stratty. These yeah. are more telly. And what this is, wood. it's A, there's, so there's two two settings for each of these five, each switch. Each switch has two preloaded settings. A is knob, this knob all the way back. Uh, B, knob forward. Simple right. enough. And, I, and, so, and we'll figure out if there's in-between tones or why it's a knob. Blend, why wasn't it be a switch? Maybe it. a knob aesthetically is nicer. I don't want, know. I want to slide or it looks more like this, a classic strap. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> I went a little, a little bit of spruce with head. a little bit of mahogany and rosewood all at the same time. <laughs> like I can first, get it all with a It's like too many, too many things on a pizza. Yeah. Three ingredients <laughs> on a pizza. That's all yeah. you get. That's right. Dag nabbit. Okay, so, and that's what this is. It's what ingredients do you want on your pizza? Yeah. You know, so, okay, so strap. We're going to start with position five, five which is all for five A. Oh, yeah, that's a fine mahogany. <laughs> Sick of spruce, mahogany. Go for it. Let's okay. just rock through these. That's your, so that's your classic dreadnought. Mahogany dreadnought, sick of spruce stuff. Like a D18, a 310, a hummingbird. Okay, let's go 5B. Sick of spruce, rosewood concert, short scale slotted. Oh my god. So this is like a. It's boxier. It's like a double O slot head. Uh, 28 Martin L double O bed rosewood Let's, uh, yeah. uh, or a uh, you know old school or a, a, a Taylor A12 CE slot head. Okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, four A. Oh, that's sick. Uh, walnut small body short scale. <laughs> oh, it sounds like it has that boxier 12th fret to the body. Well, not it's a short scale small oh, body, short scale. but walnut. It's a little brighter, it's not as warm as rosewood. Yeah. It's got a nice little notes. bite. Not as bright yeah. as ma maple, but it's it's close. Uh, okay. 4B. Mahogany Americana Dreadnought. Okay. It's Americana. You gotta wear a that's a that sounds like if you had a if you listen to a lot of Wilco and Uncle Tupelo and the, it has a nice Americana that. tone there. It's very Americana. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I need a harmonica <laughs> to go with that. Okay, three middle A. a. What is that? What the hell? Is that 3A? Three 3A. Three three Sika Spruce East Indian Rosewood. So, okay. D28. D28. 810. Songwriter Deluxe skips in. I get it. That's that sound. Yeah. Okay. And if you're ever trying this at the store, uh, uh, folks... Definitely, you you want it. They really it really shines through an acoustic amp. I would do say it through so. an acoustic amp. You're like yeah. a lot of people. It's or in the PA, electric area, the and they or PA, uh, PA which yeah. acoustic yeah. amp is really a portable PA. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I mean, yeah. a lot of people put this in the electric amp because it's in the electric area, and they're like, hey, and it is tough to recreate it all. Who could you get me an A B switch and do yeah. this and that? So, um, but uh, and we'll talk more about that later. But um, but it is to really hear the acoustic stuff. I agree. And it sound yeah. they sound great. Yep. We've done it with this Fishman Loud Box. I've done it with a Bose Compact. I like it way better with the Or a Bose, uh, whatever yeah. the hell it's called, S1. And you could do cool, cool with this box. You could do co the combo. You could do both. You could do it to your, to your yeah, heart's yeah. desire. Yeah, and, there, you, and like. you can still use it with a tube amp, but, but you'll hear so, the differences. But so really, with the acoustic. Here's 3B. Okay. Oh, this adds body. Oh, this is the same thing with body. Same thing, but a adds, adds body uh, pickup to the above then. voice. So let's do here's without, without body. Kind of like body. what I see in the mirror every day. Ooh, and this you hear is that when, body coming in? Yeah. There? You hear that body? So that's no body. regular, but that's beer body. goggles. Oh, yeah. Okay. Adding a little low end richness, fullness. That's some great honky tonk you got there, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Get on in the truck, we're going down the river. <laughs> and what that body okay. meant is before we were hearing the piezo, and that body Please don't ever do that again. Added. Okay. <laughs> added Ah, uh, there's a body sensor in there, so it added a little bit of the woodiness of the actual instrument. Oh man, there's three pickups in this. Thing. And you can also get bodies. You can get your own body sensors too. <laughs> Put um, them all over your body. Yeah, Fender's yeah. expanding that uh, for 2021. <laughs> okay. Number, okay. Number two. Number two A. A. Like the Canadian number two. Okay, a. come on, that's bad. <laughs> hey, the Fonz. This is called the Fonz. <laughs> number two A. Number two Fonzie. Engelman Spruce Indian Road. Now we're just getting nerdy with the high end acoustics. So we're still Rosewood. Engelman, yeah, but still Indian Rosewood. So it's like getting a D28 with Engelman top, which is kind of a, it's a smoother, it's softer. a little smoother, softer sound. Yeah, it's not as punchy as a sicko. The low end, uh, it's a little different. Yeah, it's a little rounder you know, edges. You know, when you're buying an acoustic guitar, you don't necessarily see these options until you're spending a ton of money. So it's kind of neat to have it all in here. There are distinct differences. Now, uh, if you added a, so then all of a sudden now we're getting into position two B is Fender Clean Electric. Okay, 
Fender Clean Electric. So I'm going to turn the knob up. You so I would it. imagine a you stress. The, you can hear the noiseless pickup. You can hear the noiseless pickup coming in with a little hum. Can you hear that? That 60 that's cycle no, hum. That's what noiseless sounds like. Yeah, it's a nice 60 cycle hum. <laughs> it's, it's authentic. It's authentic. Yeah. Back to the drawing board, Fender. Oh, so, okay. so here we have to go to the electric amp. So now electric. With no, no overdrive pedal, just straight up. Straight up. Well, why don't you do an electric lick for the electric people? You know, let's do a yeah. different thing for electric. Oh, it just sounds so anemic and quiet. That's a, I don't even know what that word means. That's a big word. That's a Fender Clean Electric. Which I don't know what that means. That's kind of generalization, don't you yeah. think? It's like, what general. position in a strat would that sound like? I meant anemic, not in the setup, but my amp wasn't turned up enough. And so that's a noiseless a little, pickup, people. That's a noiseless pickup. Here's a little with a little bite. And I shouldn't diss the noiseless pickup thing, I should say. It's probably, it could be our crappy oh, basement electricity. Might be our too. electricity, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, I don't the, remember that upstairs. The last position, okay, which is so, the first position. Yes, last is the first. What was is <laughs> now. Uh, uh, so, okay, position 1A, that is a Fender semi-clean electric. So, so it's sem it's not clean now. So we have three it's degrees semi -clean. of clean. Yeah. yeah. So this is semi-clean. That is this one. Now, you know that, huh? yeah. Now, if you do one, one, one B, it's a Fender Dirty Electric. Yeah, so so maybe are they trying to do some Tex-Mex? Maybe yeah. like bring it up a little, little bit. Little, 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 little. That's cool, huh? Yeah. That's no overdrive pedal. What would that? Let's see. What, what would that sound like? Let's try that, yeah. So you still get a little bite if you're going through a PA or acoustic amp. You do get a little bit of that, but you can see you can see where you might want an A and B switch and go electric and, and then go acoustic. Just for fun, let's hear both. Dirty with both. It's kind of a neat tone. Sound better with a didgeridoo. Okay, <laughs> so um, so uh, now, real quick, I'm going to ask you a question, Joe. Yes. Uh, how do you feel about uh, when you're doing the electric? Did the acoustic strings throw you off a little bit? Yeah, Is that I don't. Weird? I don't particularly like the wound G. Yeah. It's like when you want to bend something. It's but what are, you know, I think we found we put 11s on this. Maybe a, you can do a lighter acoustic string, oh, and that might give you a little, try to get that, yeah. you know, a little bit of both. Maybe a hybrid set. Like, yeah. I would consider just, I would, down personally, I'd maybe lose the wound G. I don't know, though. That might compromise your acoustic tone. But right. if I want to bend, like, you but know. It's modeled, but it's modeled, so sure. it, the acoustic tone's going to be there. Yep. There's a little bit of that, it's but sure, um, uh, you might want to experiment with that. To bend that. Yeah. Sweet Pitch bend, bro. pretty hard. Okay. Make that face. You have to make that face because it, it's hard to do. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Taking a crap face. Hurts. Hey, uh, let's switch this and let's just do a real quick. We're going to go through all the settings again real quick. I'll mention them, but just do a quick thing on them. Just, I know it's tough. It'd be better to go A, B, A, B, A, B. Uh, yeah. but, uh, but let's just see what, you know. There are, so again, like we said, these are very similar construction wise, except for, you know, this has got more of the strap body, which is a little bit bigger. So acoustically, that might do something. Or warmth yeah, to it's it. Comfortable. It's comfortable. And also, they got the strat little thing mahunga hunga there. They someone sanded that. I love that the work. little uh, the armrest, the thing. Um, yeah. yeah, and that is cool. And they look great. They're really cool. Um, five A. Uh, this is the Sika Spruce Rosewood Dreadnought, like an eight ten or a D twenty eight. Perfect. Or a songwriter. Got that sound. Okay. Five, five B is going to be an Alpine Spruce Rosewood Auditorium, kind of, kind of like an eight fourteen. Hear that triple pretty, o. Hear that difference? Yes. Let's move it. Snappy. Yeah. It's a little 
right. A and fing- more, uh, finger scooped. picking, you'll be punched. Uh, soloing, it's more percussive. I like that. We said which finger is, picking. Yeah, which is a uh, yeah more scoop. Dreadnought, boomy, okay. mid-sized Grand Auditorium, like kind of a little more punchy. I like that tone. All right, uh, so four A, Engelman, Spruce, Maple, Small Body. Okay. Okay. A little brighter. Yep. Now uh, 4B is Sick of Spruce, Mahogany, Dreadnought, D28, or D18. I mean. D18. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That sounds like a D18. It really does, right? Yeah. That, was, that one's pretty good. I like that. Okay, here we go. Big money here. 3A, <laughs> Sick of Spruce with Brazilian Rosewood, oh. Dreadnought. Uh, let's try that. And then I think what we should do is go right to 5A again after that, because that's the same thing, but... Rose, Indian rosewood. Okay. See if there's a difference. So this is Brazilian. Yep. I like a fine Brazilian. Yeah, you wear a thong during. You wear a thong during this one. Okay. Now, you okay, now back to five A, which is a regular Indian rosewood. It's real similar, huh? Yeah. I'll go back again. Three A. Oh. That was five A. Now three A is Brazilian. I don't know if it's the beer. Very similar, maybe a little. I hate to say creamier, like a, a more overtones, a little more a little smoother. Fine, a little finer. Yeah, Brazilian. it's a little. It's got does have a little more pleasant sound. So Brazilian rosewood. That's and then this, uh, you know you can't get that. I'll much bet you this anymore. is add body. Is this add body? No. Okay. So two A or three three. Oh, I'm sorry. Three B. Three B. Add body. Adds body. Ah, oh, it feels good to say that. This is a, oh, it does. Yeah, Brazilian body. So here's something I think in the field, this would be useful. You could blend the body in. You don't have to go full body. That's where that comes in handy blend with the that switch. That's, That's pretty good. That's pretty cool. That's cool. Yeah. That's a nice tone. Yeah. That's pretty nice. It gives you a little more presence, a little more pop. Yeah, that might be my favorite setting, yeah. yeah. Okay, and okay. with whatever you, way you want to blend it. Yeah, that's Okay, cool. so uh, now we got a, what are we doing here? 2A? Uh, 2A. Do we do there? Okay, that's just a D18, Sick of Spruce, Mahogany. So we got two D18s in here. Yeah. 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 Unless this is a typo. It okay. adds it. So oh, 2B adds an electric both. pickup to that dreadnought. That's why, that's why we had dreadnought, mahogany, yeah. and So I left settings. it on the acoustic amp. Then. Okay. And that's bringing in a little electric. Yeah. Yeah, a little jangle. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Just a little of that punch, a little more definition. Yeah. Cool. It's actually kind of like a real piezo pickup, but more warmth to it. It's kind of nice. Let's actually. do it. Let's just real quick here. Pull amps. Which I usually don't say about my side. Electric one's a little loud. If you're finger picking, that's kind of cool, right? Yeah. Just a little bit of that, you know? I like that. Okay. Especially, yeah, you put a little slapback um, echo on there and you're Chet Atkins all of a sudden. Yeah. Okay. One, um, uh, B, one A. One A. Fender Electric Clean. Electric guitar. I was gonna say, I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to remember the stack clean. Was there a difference? That would be there. That sounds good. That's cool. Next, uh, one B is Fender Dirty. Electric Fat oh. slash Semi Clean. Oh wow! Now when you do the slash, I wonder if that button does. If there is like a little blend thing there or something like blend that. Blend in between. Try, try, yeah, try, try it out. With well, actually, that is A and B. That's what it but is. But I could ease so. it in, huh? I could. Yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah. You can hear that. I'm yep. wondering. But it's different than the strap. Quite different. It's kind of cool. Seems like that does there. have a, maybe it's... It's pretty cool, right? Yeah, maybe it's psychological or it's the, the double, right? double IPA I'm drinking. <laughs> But uh, it does seem more telly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it really did. Okay, that's it. I think I personally it's, liked the electric setting, maybe on the telly a little bit better. I'm gonna say the same thing. Yeah. And also, I don't think there's Brazilian rosewood on the strap. I like that Brazilian. That I was like my that favorite Brazilian setting tone, was the Brazilian yeah. rosewood with the body with body blend yep. that you could add. So 
I'm gonna say my winner. I like. I think, and I play Tellys right now, yeah, so I am kind of thinking Telly. Great. Not that we want to choose sides. <laughs> I think uh, I'm team. People I think love I'm... the feel of the strat, and there is a bigger body here, so there is something. You probably get a little yeah. more warmth, almost like a semi hollow yeah, on the yeah. electric setting on that. I maybe. think I'm team telly, too. But I think uh, I do like the telly a little but bit. If, you, if that had a whammy bar, I would, you know, I'm still waiting for an acoustic with a whammy bar. <laughs> Gretsch has one. That's right. Most impractical thing ever, but, but yeah, it's cool. It's yeah. heavy. Okay, Cut. so there's that. I know this is a, a big application. ton of players out there that are doing an acoustic gig, an electric gig, maybe a front man, maybe it's somebody in a worship band that's doing some strumming and wants to do a little take, rip a little lead. Right, you do different um, songs that call for these sounds. Yeah, or if you have a, you do a long solo set and you want to mix it up. Yeah, it's like a toggle switch. I want it back because I want to get real yeah. spanky and funky. I want to be warm in front. Well, now I, I want to be acoustic. Yep. It's the same thought. So I thought this was a cool, uh, this is one one real life application that I thought would be practical and usable. Um, so what I did is I just ran the guitar into the, yep, the radial Twin City ABY box. That's yeah. a great Any kind of ABY, but this one's Mac. This better, one's right? awesome, yeah. Right. Radial is pretty good with it. Nice that. and simple, and it's, it's great. Right, so with people so, who don't know AB, boom, you got your guitar in there. So go into here. Which... And then there's two outs. Gotta what I did is I ran through. one. I ran one of the outputs into a looper, out of the looper, into the acoustic amp. The other output into an overdrive pedal, into an electric amp. Right? Could be that could be your pedal board, whatever. So but I'm loose some acoustic, loop some acoustic grooves. Yeah. So and it's, then lead solo electric. Exactly. Which I, I love think, it. I, yeah. Which is what comes up when people are asking, oh, what. What, what's up with this? You go, so, well, this is one of the things you might do. And with this guitar, I like this. I put it on setting number two. Um, if I roll this guy back, I have a nice acoustic tone. It's lovely. When I turn this knob up, it will go to electric, and I will switch to kind of loud. I'll switch to an electric amp. So let's check it out. So we're going to loop acoustic. So. <laughs> All right, that was sweet, Joe. Yeah, and that's a, one of the many applications you can do with this, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, it gives you a little more texture. Yeah, yeah. I, that was fun. I, I could rock have just out. kept doing that for an hour. Oh, yeah, you could do yeah. a whole happy hour taco night at any kind of happy hour at the Holiday Inn. I will say, yeah, pro, setup. pro tip, if you're playing a gig and it's everyone's just you, your, your musical wallpaper, your background music, um, and you want to make it enjoyable for yourself. Um, you, yeah, you can. Uh, Let's think this about kind of you. a setup. Think, <laughs> yeah, do you, man? Right. It's kind of a setup, though. You can just sit there and uh, you can burn up, you know, twenty minutes of time practicing some solos and looping. Yeah. And people like might it. even like it. Yeah. Or at least they'll digest their. It sounds food like a fuller band. And, yeah. Yep. It's We're very talking cool. working musician talk here. Yeah, and how. <laughs> Cool, man. Well, thanks. That was a good, that's a good thing. Check these out. They are pretty darn cool. If this is, you know, this might be something that you're looking into do. These, this product does it. Yeah, I like this setup, too. This is pretty, pretty slick. That is the brown. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. It's a good, good looking Wait, this setup. This is a good, like, this is a brochure God. for help. Bro <laughs> parents send money. I don't have a real job. This <laughs> There's our show. Yeah, we're really happy to be back. Thanks yeah. you guys for watching. Thanks, uh, Beer and Gear. Um, you know, we had um, a couple. We don't have a lot out there. We one of the big, one of the big feedback things we got was more comparisons, which is why we did this. We're trying to and maybe be more product to, yeah, specific. More product about. specific, and, yeah. but and just let everything ensue from there. Um, but we have lots of different ideas on how we'd like to present the show. We 
we liked our last format. We're gonna try and pare it down a little bit. Um, but yeah. let, just let us know. We, we don't have a about. lot of a million people watching us, but the handful that we do, they're very they dig it, and uh, we've heard from them, and, and, and actually people like it a lot. And, as- and we appreciate y'all. And, and yeah, that, and aspects so. that you like, aspects you don't like, let us know. Hopefully in a nice way. Um, and we will, uh, you know, we'll 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 take it all into account and consideration, and try to bring you the best show we can. That was beautiful, Joe. How about some outro music to get us out of our first uh, first episode of uh, 2020? Thank you, yeah. everyone. We're uh, Beer and Gear Music Villa, Bozeman, Montana. Come and visit us over here. Give us a call if you have questions on anything. Check out these guys, too. They're pretty damn cool.